Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these large colorful hetero style earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them and you could always ask me anything in the comments. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way, you help me so much and motivate me to make more and more tutorials. You could check description for a full list of materials and see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now is a new course, five unexpected designs that you could do with Peyota Stitch. So if you become a member for less than $5 per month, you could see this course and other perks and you could start and cancel anytime so it's worth seeing it. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are seven colors of 11 ounce seed beads and they are black, light green, green, yellow, orange, red and dark red. You could use less colors if you want. Here I'm using earring findings in black color. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches to so 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size if you don't find this one. Here I'm using size 10 beading needle and by the way you could check description for full list of materials, link to PayPal donations and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member as I mentioned in the beginning, there is a new course waiting for you if you decide to join the membership of this channel. And here I'm using scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up a black in a green bead, then again a black in a green bead, then again a black in a green bead, and I will do this until I have 12 beads, 6 black and 6 green beads. Okay, and I have them here now. And I'm going to slide all of those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made. And then I pull. And then what I do is that I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And now I have my 12 beads here. Okay. Then what I want to do is exit out of a green bead. Okay. Just like this. Now in my next step, I'm going to take five green beads. Okay. I have here my five greens here they are and as i'm exiting through one of the greens i'm skipping the black one and i'm going through the following green now i have this and i'm going to continue this i'm picking up five green beads okay i have my five here on my needle and I'm skipping the black one and I'm going through the following green, just like this. And I pull and I'll show you one more time and then I'll do this until the end of this row faster. Okay. I have my five, skip the black one and go through the following green. Okay, and now I'm going to show this process faster. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last green beads from this row. And I'm going here in this first green that I started the row from and I'm pulling. Then guys, in my next step, what I want to do is go through these two green beads in this direction. And I'm going to pick up five light green beads. Okay, I have my five as well. And I'm skipping the one here at the top and I'm going through the following green. Okay, you see how I'm exiting out of this one, skipping the next one and going through the following. And now here I have five again. And I'm taking just one black bead and I go here through the next green. Okay, this is what I have in this row. And in my next row, I'm going to repeat this. Don't worry that it looks like this at this stage. We'll fix it later. I'll just follow the steps. Okay, and I have five again. Skip the one that is sticking out the most or the middle of the five that I added in my previous step and then pull and then take just one black bead and go here through the next green. Okay, I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, I have my five here. I'm skipping the one at the top and I'm going through the following and I'm taking just one black okay and I go in the same green bead the one next to this that is sticking out the most okay then I will continue this row the same way and I'll meet you here at the last step Okay guys, and here I am now where I'm adding my last black bead from this row and pay attention where I add it at the green beads, the darkest green beads and in the second one. Counting from the center. Don't make the mistake to go through the light green beads. Okay, and in my next step I'm going to continue a similar thing. I'm going through two of those newly added five light green beads. Okay guys, and after I went through these two green beads, I want to go through two more green beads. And in my next step, I want to take three black beads. Okay, I have my three blacks here on my needle and I'm going here through the green that is next to the one that's sticking out the most, through the one that is sticking out the most and through the following. Okay and I'm going to take three blacks again and I go here through the top three green beads. Okay just like this. And I'll show you one more time, three blacks and go through the top three beads here like this. And I'm going to finish this until the end of this row and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And from here on, I'm going to add yellow beads. So I'm taking five yellows. Okay, I have my five and as I'm exiting through one of the green beads, you see here the first one, I'm skipping the next and I'm going through the third one. So I'm exiting out of the first and I'm going in the third one. Okay, this is what I have. Then I go here in the black and again I'm going to add five yellows. Okay, five of the yellows. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Okay, 
and then go through the next green one and take five k5 skip the second green and go through the following and if you can also go through the next black just to save time okay I'll show you one more time and let you do this by the end of this row. So I take five like this. I skip the middle black one. I'm going through the first, skipping the second and then going through the third and through the next green one. Okay. Now I have this. Don't worry that they bend and move like this. We'll fix them later. Okay. See you in a while. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five yellow beads from this row. And again, don't worry, it bends and moves like this. We're going to fix it. Okay, so I'm going through these two yellow beads, through two of them. And I'm exiting next to the one that's sticking out the most. And then I'm going to take five orange beads. Okay, five and i skip the one here at the top and i go through the following okay then what i need to take is just one black bead and i'm going in the same place second yellow counting from the center or the one that is next to the the one that's sticking out the most okay so we need five again okay five skip the top one or the middle one of the five and go like this then again what I need is just one black and I'm going here in the same place through the second yellow counting from the center and I need five orange K5 skip the middle one here and take just one black K1 black and go here I think guys you got the idea and now continue doing this and meet me here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row and I'm going here through this yellow as you may see like I did before and after that I pull And I have this now in my next step what I want to do is go through two orange beads like this and I'm going to pick up five red beads okay five again all the time I'm picking up five and as I'm going through this orange I'm skipping the middle orange and going through the following and then I pull now guys in my next step what I need to add are two black beads and what I do is that I go through the second orange counting from the center now I'm next to the middle of the five orange beads and I need five reds okay five skip the middle one and go through the one after that okay in my next step i need two two black beads and i go again through the second orange counting from the center and i need five red beads okay five skip this one and go through the following 
and add two more black beads okay two and I go here in this orange like I did before okay and I'm going to continue this and meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and what I need to do next is go through these two red beads and I'm going to pick up three dark red beads okay only three of them this time not five okay and as I'm exiting through the second red bead counting from the center I'm going in the same place and I'm skipping the one that is sticking out the most okay now I have this and here guys what I need are three black beads okay three blacks you see and I'm going here in this red that is next to the one at the top and here what I need are three dark red beads skip the one at the top like this and go in this direction okay and take three three blacks and I'm going here in the same place like I did through all of my rows three go here like this and again three black beads okay and I go here and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row and this will be my last row okay guys and here I am where I need to add my last three black beads from this row okay and I just add them and now all I need to do is to add my earring finding okay I'm taking my earring finding and what else I need to take are two black beads then I put my near earring finding here and after that I need two more black beads okay this is what I have and as I'm exiting through the middle of these three beads that I added in the last row the dark red ones I'm going back in circle through the same bead okay and then what I want to do is reinforce this joint here I'm going around and after I reinforce this what I want to do is go here at this angle let's say make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this I make here a loop and I go once then I go second time through this loop I've made then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and after that I go through some beads and cut my thread and by the way you could repeat this knot several more times if you want And when you're ready with the last knot, you go through some beads in this direction and you cut your thread. Okay. 
and now your earring is ready if you think it's too big for earring you could make it as a pendant if you want and make smaller earrings okay guys and now my colorful chichol style earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button in this way you won't miss a thing and you will be able to make beautiful designs for presents or for yourself. Check description for full list of materials, link for PayPal donations, link to the social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. And also check what you get if you decide to become a member, the new course as I mentioned. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.